we spoke in our previous uh, lesson as we were getting to speak about dreams there are things that we got to explain furthermore and today we'll be getting on trying to touch on the aspect of dreams and portals we will try to touch on the aspect of dreams and portals dreams and portals we will try to touch on the aspect of dreams and portals dreams and portals all right we we'll touch we we'll try to touch on the aspect of dreams and portals praise god now you have to come to an understanding that when you look at this earth there is a way in which this earth connects to the heavens it is not just automatic that we come to a place that we all experience spiritual realities and this is why you have to understand that aspect of portals as far as the issue of our dreams are concerned there are different kinds of um environments that can be created by us as humans by us as believers by us as christians in as far as even the issue of portals is concerned if we want to get to a place where we understand how does god communicate to us the realities of the spirit and also having access to those dimensions of um the or, or, or having access to all those dimensions of the spirit so specifically we are talking today on um we are talking today on dreams dreams and portals all right we are talking today on dreams and portals we are talking on dreams and portals let us go to the book of genesis chapter 28 all right let us go to the book of genesis 28 genesis let us go to the book of genesis chapter number 28 um we will start from verse number 10 going down genesis 28 from number 10 going down the bible says and jacob went from beersheba and went towards and went toward haran you know haran where abraham was coming from went toward haran that is close to the air of the chaldeans and he lighted upon a certain place and tarried there all night because the sun was set and he took the stones of that he took the stones of that place and put them for his pillows and lay down at that place to sleep all right he put the stones of that place and he lay down to sleep and he dreamt and behold a ladder set up on the earth and the top of it reached the heavens and behold angels ascended and descended on it and the lord and the lord stood above it and said i am the lord god of your father abra of abraham thy father and the god of isaac and therefore thou liest thou thou liest i give i will give this the land and thy seed all right so he gained he gained sort of like authority over the place which he was sleeping at. He gained sort of like dominance or authority over the place in which he was sleeping at. Now, we want to look at it and really look at the dynamics of what happened right there. All right. It is to verse number 13. To verse number 13. To verse number 13. Now, there are things that I would want you to understand. Um, I would want you to understand when we talk about portals, we are talking about openings, all right? When we talk about portals, we are talking about openings. We are talking about, we are talking about channels. We are talking about a channel or, or an opening. 
all right we are talking about a channel or an opening that is it mainly if we are to talk about portals there are things that you have to understand through the scripture that we have read the bible says that he arrived at a place all right so the first thing that you have to get is number one the place the place all right and number two the bible speaks about he took what um he took the stone as a pillow which is important that we are going to come to a place where we are going to further more explain now when you look at it you have to understand the issue of um the the, the dynamics of the spirit right there as they are explained if we are to the, the place we are also talking about atmosphere atmosphere or environment all right and the pillow these are objects these are objects uh, atmosphere it is very important the atmosphere in which we are to talk as we are explaining part of the aspect of our portals the atmosphere is very important as you come to a place where you are growing in your spiritual life you are growing in your being you have to understand that divine visitations do not just happen divine visitations are also initiated you don't just have a divine visitation say, ah i had an encounter i had a divine visitation where did you have the divine visitation where did you have the divine visitation it was on the ba basis of the place that uh, this this guy got into that we hear that he, what he encountered angels. He encountered angels in the dream. All right. He encountered angels in the dream. He encountered angels. He 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 saw he he, he saw heavenly realities. All right? He saw heavenly realities. It was because of the place and also the pillow that he used. Now, if you would look at it closely from just mere understanding of certain things, imagine yourself getting to sleep at a shrine. When I mean a shrine, you know those places where Sango must reside. Imagine sleeping at a shrine. Are you going to tell me that you can sleep at a shrine and begin to encounter you can sleep at a shrine and begin to encounter heavenly dreams the first thing that you see happening there is that once a person gets to a place where they go to that place where they sleep on a shrine the next thing that is happening that person is starting to having like warfare dreams why because the environment they are in the environment they are in so the environment matters and sometimes you would understand that in most cases even most of the times when you visit at a place or at someone's place there is this certain uneasiness that is there some people they can't even sleep at certain people's houses why because it's not the atmosphere they are used to because if you have come to a place where at your own house you have built a certain atmosphere of prayer you have built a certain environment in your place you would then now begin to you are used to that environment you are used to that atmosphere you, you have opened a, a portal you, you have built a certain altar maybe of prayer that hosts the presence of god in your house at, at your place which allows you to have certain realities of the spirit where you are so visiting another place now 
you would realize even most of the time sleeping in hotels it is not the same and it affects dreams it affects people's uh people's ability ability even to to ability to discern it affects people's people's abilities to come to a place where they understand uh what is it that god is really saying all right to understand what is it that god is really saying praise god praise god i want you to see it is not only on this place that we see this uh this aspect all right let's go to the book of samuel all right first samuel chapter number three all right if we go to let's go to at one samuel chapter number three right um the Bible tells the Bible says, and in those days Samuel ministered unto the Lord before early, and the word of the Lord was precious in those days. There was no open vision. There was no one to touch that there was no open vision. And it came to pass at the time when Eli was lying down in his place, and his eyes had waxed dim, and he could not see. And remember, there was no open vision also. And and ere the lamp of God went out in the temple of the Lord and the ark of the Lord and Samuel laid down to sleep all right and Samuel was laid down to sleep so I want you to look at um, I want you to concentrate on verse number five I want you to concentrate on verse number five going down and Samuel laid down to sleep and Samuel laid down to sleep there was a place Oh God, help me right there. There was a place, all right? And the place that was there, the Bible tells us that Samuel was in a temple. Samuel, right there, he was in a what? In a temple. All right. He was in the temple. It is an environment. It is an environment. A different kind of an environment. The man is in a temple. And it tells us where Samuel really left on. Really slept on. Look at verse number 5. All right. I think look at verse number, verse number 3 of it. Look at verse number 3 of it. All right. Look at verse number three of it. The Bible says that, uh, and he was on the ark of God. So the, the 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 issue of the issue of this year was that the ark of God. This was Samuel. This was Samuel. The environment he was in a temple, and the ark of God he was around the ark of god and we understand that in those days the ark of god represented the presence of god and that is where samuel was sleeping and the bible says and the lord called samuel 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 <laughs> and he thought it was eli and after the second time eli said when you hear that voice again say here am i say here am i that is part of the prophetic sometimes how God speaks. Like what I said, he always speaks through familiar voices. So many people get confused around this area of what I'm trying to explain. Many people get to a place where they, 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 they fail to understand. Why is it they are having the kind of dreams they are having? The environment also contributes in the dreams you are having. <laughs> That is why also you would see that many people, many people they, who have come to a place where they've become spiritual, some of them they are particular even with the issue of the pillow. If they if they visit some people's places, they don't sleep with on, on other people's pillows. They would rather sleep on their hands. 
they would rather sleep on their hands. The same way Jacob took the stone, and the stone, remember, it had been used before to build an altar. So the stone he had gotten in contact with the presence of God when the stone was put as an altar, a sacrifice was put, and there was a fire that would also be burned and that would connect to the heavens. So the stones had had a connection to the heavens. In those days when you would put a sacrifice, for you to know that God has uh, received your sacrifice, what would happen is, the smoke would go straight into the heavens. So it is believed that if the smoke would go straight, God has smelt your offering, so he has accepted. But if your smoke would just be like those fires that would just be around, you know, <laughs> that those fires that would be around that if if you are growing up where we grew up they would say if the fire if you are putting on a fire and the the the, the smoke is just around you they'll say you 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 were you were um you were taken care by your grandmother but god if the smoke on the offering would just go around there they would say god is not accepted your offering so that was also a sign so there was an encounter that had happened on this stone. So specifically, that is what makes us to understand that it is important, not just the place, but also the aspect of the stone. There are portals that um, open up as far as environments, people's houses, and all these aspects. There is no communication that can ever be, that can ever be, that can ever be possible unless there is a portal there can never be any communication that is possible unless there is a portal all right unless there is a portal you have to understand that you have, you have to understand that that is why you would realize people that are spiritual they, are, they they understand environments of communication do you know that even jesus when he was ascending to the heavens the bible says he walked to a certain place that is where he ascended they did not just ascend from any place they had to walk until he was at a certain place when you read your bible when you read uh on on when elijah was being taken from elisha they had to walk until they reached a certain place elijah was not just taken into the heavens from any place there was a certain place around after jordan all right after Jordan. And if you would realize, you would see also that you would see John the Baptist being, when he came to be, when he came to, to his dispensation, he, that was the place around he operated in where Elijah was taken up. That is why they said he came in the spirit of Elijah. So there was already a portal. You, you have been to certain places which are like that, and I believe you are, you are getting to understand what I'm talking about. Some people, there are certain rooms that if, you, if anyone sleeps in that room in your house, something happens, even maybe the place where you grew up, even in the place where a person grows up. All right, so... There are things that you have to come to a place that you have to do. The first thing, you have to build an atmosphere. You have to build an atmosphere. All right? You have to build an atmosphere. So we are talking about portals. And I want you to understand. So when, when God communicates, all right? So we can speak from the aspect of heaven. All right? So not a table. All right, you have to understand that we have heaven. All right, heaven is the place in which we all would want to communicate with. All right, we have heaven. All right, we have heaven right there. And in as much as we have heaven, what happens is then we have. We have you right here. All right? Then we have you right here. We have heaven. We have you. And there has to be communication between 
heaven and you there has to be a direct line of communication between heaven and you heaven has got to come to a place where it communicates to humanity right there heaven has got to communicate to you as a person who's in humanity but for heaven to communicate with you you have to understand that every communication that happens all right every communication that happens they are what we call communication channels they are communication channels all right there are communication channels in which God comes to a place in which not just God, that every communication for there to be communication, there has to be channels, different kinds of channels. How visions come is not how dream comes. How God speaks to people is not the same. People have different channels. And in these different channels, you have to understand that you as a person, all right, you as a person, for us to have that aspect of getting to say we are communicating to God right here all right right here we have that aspect of portals all right we have the aspect of portals Portals is how God will come to a place where he will uh, communicate with you. How God will come to a place in which he will communicate with you. How God will come to a place in which you communicate with you. And these portals some of them they are already there but you would understand that to have these portals being created there are activities that has to happen and these activities involve um building of an altar all right they involve building of an altar so that is the activities that you have to go through yourself all right Right, building of an altar which opens up a portal or that, br that that brings out channels of communications to heaven and God speaks to us differently that is what we have to understand and so you see people getting to a place where they sacrifice you see people getting to a place where they fast you see people getting to a place where they get into days and months of prayer somebody wonders why are you sacrificing so much you want to get to a place where you build you, you build an altar which is a place that hosts god and that will help you now to have channels of communications different channels of communications that will communicate that god will, will communicate through them into your spirit touching different senses of the spirit that you would have awakened over you so it is through that aspect where you are building your prayer outer sacrificial outer and all and also your body you remember building your body what apostle said present your bodies as living sacrifices it's 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 a different it's a different thing when you are when your for your body to become an altar it comes to a place where you have to sacrifice the body it comes to a place where you have to sacrifice the body that is through aspects of fasting exercise of the spirit so many people have operated in these three major three major ways where you see people fast pray and also giving all right and also giving let me just try to illustrate something right here all right so you see that um you see that we have three activities 
all right we have three activities all right we have fasting we have praying all right we have fasting we have praying and we have giving right there yes we have fasting we have praying and we have giving right there which all of them they communicate differently all three of them they communicate differently when a person is going through activities of fasting all right what is happening is you are building an altar that is affecting your body all right so the main thing that you are dealing here is your body your body you are using your body you are, you are sacrificing your body then your body becomes an instrument that is why you see that when you go through this channel of fasting one of the things that you have is increased sensitivity all right you have increased sensitivity increased sensitivity people that pray in most of the times what happens is when you when you pray it is an exercise that that, that unites the body and the spirit it does not just increases um increases um increases what you call them increases like sensitivity of your spiritual channels and and all what it does is it perfects all right perfects your communication It perfects your communication with the spirit. It perfects your communication with the spirit. Then we talk about giving. Most of the times, many people, if you check through the Bible, there is something that is very secretive about giving that many people have not yet understood. Um, I think I will write one of it. Um, this is one of the things that giving does. it activates the angelic all right it activates the angelic throughout the bible when you read you see that there is a very big relation that happens between the angelic and the issue of the giving sacrifices and all those kind of things one of the scriptures that you can go and look at is um Hebrews chapter number 13, uh, verse 1 to 2. All right. You can go and read Hebrews chapter number 13 from verse 1 and from verse 2. So that is why you'd see in Genesis chapter 28, the moment, the moment even Jacob saw that, that, that aspect of angels descending and ascending, the first thing that he did when he woke up, he took the the only valuable thing that he had that was the oil and he anointed the rock that when he was now at the house of laban the bible tells us that while he was in the house of laban an angel came to laban's house and it told jacob and said i am the god of bethel where you anointed the rock with oil so now even when jacob is now in 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 in, in laban's place there was a connection to to a place a connection to an atmosphere at a place called Bethel that even when angels were descending and ascending at Bethel all right they were able to travel to where he was why because he had structured a channel of communication he had built an altar through the means of his sacrifice that he had done he had built a portal through the means of the sacrifice that he had done on the ground. 
the sacrifice that he had done on the ground. That he had done on the ground. If you read uh, in the book of Acts chapter number 10, I believe, the Bible talks about Cornelius. An angel comes and says, Cornelius, your prayers and your arms has reached the memorial of heaven and God is hearing you. So, you have to understand that so fasting you are dealing with your body you are dealing with your unbelief you are making the flesh to submit to the spirit that is what happens when you are fasting and when you are praying you are increasing you are perfecting your communication skills because when we talk about prophecy when we talk about god speaking back to men it is a reply prophecy is a reply of a prayer so it is through the way you lift up yourself and lift up your voice in prayer that determines the kind of answers that one can have. You would see this does not need any explanation. People that have taken much of their time in prayer, they, they, they are different when it comes to the activities and acting spiritual things than people that have not taken much of their time in prayer. There is a difference. There is a difference. There is a difference. So there is an aspect right there that I communicated of, of um, there is an aspect of, um, of, 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 of portals, all right? Why portals? Why is there to be portals? We spoke and I said portals, portals are not just, um, are not just uh, communications. They are, we have to also speak to them as openings, all right? We have to talk about them as openings. That's why we left it there. So, if when we talk about that, we have to speak also about two things, all right? We have to speak about two things right there. So, if God is to speak to humanity, there are two things we have to take into consideration, all right? For there to be a message, for there to be a message, that God will bring in a message to humanity, which is coming through a portal, and it goes to you as a human being, like what we expect there. We have also to understand that there has to be messengers, all right? So for there to be a message, there has to be messengers. And these messengers, we all know that these messengers are angels. These messengers are angels. So, when God is communicating to humanity, let's get that right. When God is communicating to humanity, when God is communicating to humanity, when the message is being brought, the message that is why we need portals, entry points. the space between the spiritual and the physical just the same way you have if you are to go from your, your your dining room to your to your kitchen there is a door there is a door but that might not be the example that will really come to a place that it opens you to the reality of what i'm saying because here we are talking about the the, the are jurisdictions between heaven and the earth because spirits are not allowed to operate in the physical so that is why there has to be portals where specifically spirits descend from that aspect then that is where now we will need channels so you would look at um you would look at the the clear explanation of what i'm saying is when, when you are sitting on your tv right now you are watching any channel on uh it might be your dstv the first thing that you have, you, you have to know is that there are channels. If you want to watch a certain program, it comes out from a certain channel, a specific channel. Right? It comes out from a specific channel. But for you to be able to see that specific channel, you understand that, you, you have to understand that from when it is in the airwaves that we can call the, it now heaven, where you are is the earth, right? On the TV, it is the earth. When it is in the airwaves, it, is, it does not come in as a channel. When it comes from the airwaves, they come as waves and frequencies. 
then through the portal the transmitters that is where they are translated to a language that you can understand when it's, it's like maybe when you were watching video tapes a long time ago do, can you imagine that the pictures that you were seeing as videos were coming out from a ribbon but if you take the ribbon from the cassette and look at it on the sun you won't see anything it is when it is translated in that machine that you'll be able to see pictures from the place of your own reality the same as listening to to audios so that is the reality of the spirit when it comes to dreams portals are very important portals are very important never ignore the reality of portals and you have to come to a place where you build those portals when you read your bible when peter had the transient the bible says he was just about to pray and they were cooking food for him and in that time he was praying and number two he was fasting he was praying and he was fasting it means his sensitivity had been had been or his spiritual receptacles had been made sensitive through his fasting so it was the moment he was more sensitive that heaven could communicate to him and he was praying and heaven answers he he, he had perfected his communication because every prophecy is an answered prayer when you say a person i received a prophecy it is an answered prayer from god I received a dream most dreams are answered prayers some of them yes there are warnings and all but most of the time when god communicates he communicates to people based on their their their, their platform of prayer because you build that intimate relationship with god in that zone of prayer i believe you've come to a place where you've understood you you, you can now introspect why when you visited certain places you could not sleep well why when you were in certain environments it was hard for you even to sleep why is it that mo when, when when you sleep on certain pillows something just happens something unusual something unusual some will even go to an extent of uh if they've had so many uh bedrooms in a room they'll say change the room some will even say change the place where you are putting where, where you are putting your head change the place where you are putting your head so i believe you've come to a place where understanding has been imparted to you and you have gained wisdom knowledge and understanding of how the realm of the spirit operates and we are going to be getting to a place where we will be now explaining certain dreams how certain dreams come through portals by god's grace the types of portals and interpreting different kinds of dreams so god bless you god be with you let's meet on the next lesson